I am fired up today as we are right now having primaries in Georgia, Alabama, and Arkansas. A lot of SEC state primaries, runoffs in the state of Texas, a lot of, a lot of southern red state decisions being made. I know a lot of you who are listening to me are from those states, so I would encourage you to go get your votes in if uh, you are able uh, to do so in those states. But here is what I pledge to you. I am going to be relentless, absolutely relentless in holding Major League Baseball responsible for pulling the All-Star game out of Atlanta and costing the Braves the opportunity to honor Hank Aaron in the year that he died in Truist Park. And I'm going to do that because Major League Baseball lied to every American sports fan when they pulled that game out of Atlanta. They said because of the Georgia voting bill, which they called Jim Crow 2.0, Joe Biden, Delta Airlines, Coke, lots of different major corporations, they said that they were going to be, there were going to be severe consequences over this bill. Well, tonight we'll have the final numbers, but rest assured that the overall number of people voting in Georgia is going to skyrocket compared to 2018. I think a big reason why that is happening is because of the increased trust in Georgia voting, but also because Georgia makes voting relatively easy compared to many states, including Major League Baseball's own home state of New York. And so, as a part of this, I am going to continue to demand that Rob Manfred apologize for the decision that he made and return the All-Star game to the state of Georgia and to Atlanta. Now, some people out there, including the governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, he said, hey, you know what, he was on the show just now. He said, hey, you know, we feel like we got the ultimate revenge because the Atlanta Braves were able to host three World Series games and they won the World Series. And I understand that. But the Braves should have been able to host three World Series games and host the All-Star game. So they were wrong. And when you are wrong and when you lie to everyone in your wrongness, you have to be held accountable for this. So I promise you that I am going to continue to make this an issue until Rob Manfred, the commissioner of Major League Baseball, admits that he was wrong and that he bought into all the hype and all the lies about Jim Crow 2.0 from Joe Biden and apologizes to every Major League Baseball fan, every Georgian, every Atlanta Braves fan for pulling that All-Star game and getting it 100% wrong, okay? I'm going to stay on it. I'm not going to run from it. This is what media should do. They should hold people in positions of power accountable for the decisions they make and the lies that they spread. Rob Manfred, I'm coming for you. I'm not going to forget until you issue an apology and admit you were wrong to pull the All-Star game out of Atlanta. I'm going to continue to hammer you and hammer you and hammer you, rest assured. And by the way, open invite to come on the biggest radio show in America, the Clay and Buck Show, and talk to my audience and apologize for the choice that you made. Because look, I think the other thing we have to do is recognizing that you're wrong is not a sign of weakness. People are wrong about all sorts of different things on a daily basis. If you're a married man like I am, You get told that you're wrong about all sorts of things all day long, every day. And when I get things wrong, I come on and I admit to my audience that I got them wrong. So I'm not saying that this is some form of awfulness that Rob Manfred should have to be involved in. I'm just saying, hey, given the fact that you made these allegations, which have now been proven to be false, as the leader of Major League Baseball, you have an obligation to admit that you were wrong and that you behaved rashly and that you bought into what Joe Biden was selling and made a poor choice that was not correct. And by the way, Joe Biden should be asked about this on a far more significant level because 
his statements and Stacey Abrams' statements and all of the people who tried to sell the idea of Jim Crow 2.0, they lied to Americans and they divided us. Joe Biden traveled to Georgia to speak and called this stupidly because he's Joe Biden and he's an idiot. He said it's even worse than Jim Crow. It's Jim Eagle. I don't even know what that means. Is the eagle worse than the crow? (laughs) Because that's the analogy that he was trying to make. Joe Biden's like, this is so much worse than Jim Crow. It's Jim Eagle. It's like, what does that even mean? Like, what, what, what about Jim Ostrich? Like, are you trying to use the bird as evidence of how much worse it's going to be? I guess if you're going to argue worse than a crow, maybe a vulture? Because I think of an eagle as being better than a crow. Like, if I had to power rank birds, I think I would put eagle maybe number one. Not a huge bird guy. But if I had to give you my top five birds, this is just me ranking birds off the top of my uh, head. So please, if you're a huge woodpecker guy, I don't want you blowing up my mentions. I'd probably go eagle one as my favorite bird. Probably go owl. Number two, as my second favorite bird, I think the owl is pretty cool. Not a fan of the woodpecker, but I do, maybe because of Woody Woodpecker, kind of think that the woodpecker's not awful. I'd probably go woodpecker third. Crow and vulture would be at the bottom of my list. I think what we're learning here is that I don't have a great bird vocabulary. Probably the bluebird. Big fan of the bluebird. Uh, also, the mockingbird, I would say, is a uh, is a decent bird. I'll say those would be my top five birds. If I didn't give your bird enough respect, no harm intended here. Uh, but Jim Eagle, better than Jim Crow. Biden didn't even make sense in his own criticism. My point here in ridiculing all of this is the data is going to be out tonight. And beyond a shadow of doubt, we are going to know that the entire allegation that the Georgia bill was going to suppress the vote was 100% wrong. And everyone who spread that lie needs, absolutely needs to be held accountable for it from Joe Biden to Rob Manfred to Stacey Abrams to everybody else in the media who ran with it. All of them should have to apologize to their audiences. 